To create a front view of this part, step one would be to go to view and hit isometric view. That will get it in the correct orientation. Step two is to hit fit all. Then go to your tab. Presuming you've already gone through the steps on how to create a border, you can now add a view. That view will be on the first option in the features under view layout tab. Select the down arrow in this case, and the first option is the front view. That most common is going to be the default. So normally you just see that and you can click directly on the front view. You'll notice that projection is under intensified because it needs one view established to project a view from. Okay, again, so under the front view with that little box active, we can go to the part itself, simply click anywhere on a flat face, and it will rotate that part into this view. Uh, I like to zoom down so I can see my view location. Typically, you want to drag that down. Uh, I missed. Well, you got the box right here. You can grab the box and drag it down and locate your view. It's typically towards the bottom left corner is known. As the front view, I will refer to it as the primary view because I'm looking at this part thinking that looks like a side view to me. Front view would be, well, over here looking at it from here in that direction. So the next step will be to create a projection view. Um, again, under views, you can turn your frame off. But if you want to move it, the easiest way to move it is to have the frame on so you can grab that red box and locate it wherever you wish. That's the steps for creating a front view. Next will be a projected view from the top.